Hi everyone, right now we are, are going to be unboxing this. Well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's basically a remote control for your camera. And as you can see, it connects with this connector as seen here. And it's kind of an interesting brand because I couldn't find like a Canon brand version of this for specifically my camera. So basically what it says is timer remote cord from Aperture. So that's interesting. You can adjust camera settings, set the timer, start the timer, and shooting. Around back, we see that stuff all over again. So let's go ahead and open this up. So then one of those boxes with the tab, the tabs that is kind of hard to get around. Um, not sure if there's something holding it in place. Uh, maybe it'd be better to get out from the bottom. There we go. Try to get this out. Some kind of foamy material. It's not quite uh, styrofoam, but it's not plastic either. It's kind of interesting there. Here we have our instruction manual in a bunch of different languages. Probably won't be needing that. We'll see. And we'll take this out of this foam material here. And here we have a button cell battery for operating this. As we can see here, we have a nice little LCD screen. And below that, I'm assuming this is probably a shutter button here. Some kind of control dial on the side and a mode button, a start stop button. And I'm assuming that's a white balance right there. Down here, it says, um, if we get the camera to focus here, it says aperture timer remote controller AP-TR1C. So that's that. Around back, we see we have Made in China and some sort of QC pass. And we have, I don't know what that is for sure. It might be something for the battery slot. And down here, we actually have our battery slot. Um, I'm assuming we probably just take this out of the bag and pop it in. see. Negative side going up. Pop that in. Now we can see this is turning on. And then we would connect that to our camera and we can push this button to release the shutter I'm assuming. Oh and reading this it looks like if we slide this. Oh this is a locking mechanism so if you wanted to lock the shutter down you could do that and then just release it. So this is gonna be pretty nice. I'm gonna be taking some test shots. Maybe I'll make a video on that pretty soon. Not quite sure yet, but stay tuned to my channel for more videos like this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.